Libra, welcome to your reading. This week we're going to take a look at the monthly overview for March. Show me Libra in March. What's going on? Show me Libra in March. Show me Libra in March. Show me Libra in March. Like always, take it resonates. Leave it does not. And if there's more than one energy on this board today, then you reverse those energies as you see fit. Like always, these are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate. Normal. Frustrating, but normal. Okay, take care of the placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Show me Libra in March. Show me Libra in March. Show me Libra in March. What's going on? Let's do one more. Show me Libra in March, please. Yes, I understand. You have a motorcycle. Good for you, honey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Early March, Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot. Doesn't that just look lovely? I like how you're entering March. I think you do too. Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot. Uh, it's looking like work, love, direction, flow. Feels good in March. Let's keep that going, yeah? Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the High Priestess. There's something here that you're showing me dissatisfaction about. You're not unaware of it. You're very aware of it. Um, friend acquaintance, I don't know, disappointment with it, which intuitively you have an answer in there or you're trying to intuitively understand it or what to do with it. We'll see. The Hermit, the Knights of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, uh, this is overall, okay? Uh, and it's a beautiful overall. Go your own pace, okay? Go your own way, Fleetwood Mac, go your own way. Go at your own pace. You have a lovely, consistent, I'm aware of what I'm doing, Everything I do was with my best intention, best mind forward, best practical sense of self forward. I've got a plan, but it's a light plan. I modify as I go. Between the hermit, the experience to look back on the path, the knight of pentacles, he's so slow that you can adjust along the way. Queen of swords, mentally, you're adjusted to your overall path, direction, march. It opens up with some beautiful specific elements. This is also a specific element, but you end with overall, you're doing good. Okay, no matter what comes up, come what may, it's like nothing is going to change me across the universe. There's another one right there across the universe. Oh, perfect. Across the Beatles. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Oh, across the universe. Yeah. Nothing's going to change my world unless, of course, it's you or what we call intervention from the universe. But for the most part, <laughs> you have your path and you're sticking to it. All right, let's get cracking. Um, let's see that two of cups. Let's go ahead and see that Two of Cups. Show me that. I've got an emotional union between yourself and someone else. Eight of Pentacles. It's workable. It's doable. It's highly functional. Or it's you're showing me I'm emotionally satisfied. Works good. Chariot. I've got flow. You know, let's take a look. Show me that Two of Cups, please. Show me that Two of Cups. 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 I may not clarify all of these. Some of them speak for themselves, particularly that Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, but we'll see as we go. I changed my mind with Gemini quite a bit, but then again, it was Gemini, so. <laughs> Theirs was interesting, I must say. Let's see that Two of Cups. Show me that Two of Cups, please. Four. Libra. What's going on? Nothing's gonna change my world. All right. Empress, beautiful. Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. You're showing me some strong sense of connectivity with somebody and that sense of, look, we're, we're both standing up for this and we have problems, but there's nothing we can't work through. The Empress, you're actually quite relaxed on this subject. You're saying, I know what I can do and I know how to make things work if I choose to. Communication often is the problem and therefore the solution. They're usually one and the same. Here's the problem, here's the solution, and they're both met with communication. And that's what you're showing me um, in what looks like a union with somebody, you know. It's, it's, like, it's, it's literally the equivalent to saying, babe, there's nothing we can't work through. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. You know, two cups, this is personal. And it doesn't have to be romantic. This is like, this is my cup, and this is how it recognizes your cup. In other words, this is between us. Just us talking. And you are talking with somebody in the interest of repairs, or you know what, something came up, I'm there. The Empress is highly competent in this respect. Uh, you're saying, I can throw the best of myself into this, it'll get worked through. 
Okay. So I don't know who that is. You could be helping someone for all I know. I just know that way you're showing up to it says I got it. I'm not going anywhere. You can rely on me. I'm the empress. I only commit myself to stuff I know is right that I can give my love to, my attention, my help, my assistance, because that's what I do, babe. I'm a producer. I'm here for you, you know, because I love you and I understand that you love me. Therefore, I give to you. So whatever the problem is, I'm there. That's it. It's very supportive. It's very positive. It's very loving uh, and generous. Something happened. This is either between you and that person something happened or they're on the receiving end of that five of pentacles and you're helping fix it through communication, love, support, you name it. But you're involved and uh, can kind of feel the warmth of your energy rolling off into this situation or person. And uh, you're showing me high levels of support for this. I can work through it. I'm here. It's actually quite lovely. And that's the beauty of empowerment. You know who is meant to receive the best of your time, energy, and effort because you're empowered right? Because you understand that they would give it back to you without hesitation, right? Otherwise, if you they can't give it back, you don't give. That's also the responsibility of being empowered. I understand I'm looking at you and you're asking for help, but I know it doesn't mean the same to you. If I was in that position, you probably wouldn't give it. So I wouldn't give this to you. I'm sorry. That's the other side of empowerment. But this, you give yourself freely to it. So I know you love it. And you care about it. So you're like, okay, I'm here. All right, let's see the Eight of Pentacles, please. Show me the Eight of Pentacles. That's very specific to the opening for you in March. So this is likely you've been supporting or working your way something with somebody somewhere probably since February. But it's showing up as mostly fixed and or healed by the beginning of March. Make sense? All right, let's see the Eight of Pentacles, please. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, show me the Eight of Pentacles, show me the Eight of Pentacles. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, show me the Eight of Pentacles. Four of Wands, Relationship Energy, Seven of Cups, the Queen of Wands, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you in a relationship with somebody. And don't get me wrong, uh, for others of you, the translation, I work from home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, absolutely. I can, And also some of you are literally working on your own, you know what I'm saying, repairs. Uh, so any way you want to do it, you're saying high levels of productivity go to you personally and your household. You're saying I got all those things covered. Um, my time, energy, and effort for me, first and foremost, again, the Empress, and then everybody else whom I love and am attached to, they get the best of my efforts. You're showing me a lot of open heart consideration to things that matter the most in your life priority. So prior, uh, priority energy, assistance, realistic time, energy, and efforts, whatever it is that you can afford gets distributed appropriately. Beautiful. <laughs> so not only you work it, you treat yourself well, you have good energy, it's healthy, it's beautifully distributed to those people who matter in your life, they get the best of you because they give the best of themselves to you. Again, it's supposed to be a two-way street. Um, yeah, I got you in some sort of healthy, functioning relationship. You yourself, your energy is great, queen of wands. So while you're highly empowered and highly productive and functional, you personally just feel good. And I think you look good too, <laughs> to be honest. Your energy would suggest is that you're glowing and that um, you're very content. You're a content empress and she's very much doing her job. Uh, it's nice to see this empress actually engaged in the highest form of self. So this is lovely. You're doing your empress duties, but they're not duties to you. And empress isn't like, well, this is my duty. No, that's anti-empress. And empress says, this is my duty, and I'm very proud of it. Oh, my. Enough signals? <laughs> that's just one of the many devices I got going off in the kitchen. <laughs> Let's see that chariot, please. Let's see where you're headed in terms of flow. Very good direction. Very healthy. Very loving, kind. But also, yeah, you got a little fiery side in there, too. You're like, I know. And the chariot. Show me that chariot, please. Show me that chariot. Show me that chariot. Show me that chariot. Show me that chariot. You're like, keep it moving. We're good. Keep it moving in March. I love it. This great month for you. All right. Well... 
with that kind of energy, disposition, thinking, and understand of self, respect, value, and worth, yeah, you're going to have lots of good months. That's the idea. All right. Six of Swords, Ace of Cups, and King of Pentacles. <sighs> That's not you. I have no idea who that is. I don't know why they're showing up. I just know it's not you. Uh, someone here is attached to you. I can't help but think that this is your person, partner, something. Uh, they're saying that it would give them a great deal of self-satisfaction from the heart to move forward in some sort of goal with you. Not against you, with you. They're in flow with you or they want to be in flow with you. Um, it's interesting. But that's that's movement. It's It's good movement. The chariot. I don't know if this person wants to completely change things in terms of their environment with you. 3D, want a new job, relocate. I don't know. But it's coming from a good place in the heart. Um, this person is largely shaping or wanting to shape, I should say, the flow of your two's relationship. I'm not sure how. Uh, but it looks well intended. Uh, it, it's coming from a deep place in the heart. And uh, yeah, there's something about I want to move this forward. There's a practical, earthy element to it, so it could be a home thing, absolutely, in terms of relocation. It could to do with work. Um, but they're saying that their heart is moving in a particular direction, and they would like you both to flow in that way. So it's respectful, okay? It's not leaning on you. It's the idea of, uh, I want your support in this, you know. So it's not demanding. It's not loud. Uh, it's highly functional, and it also says, this is my particular flow. My heart's moving in this direction. What do you think, Libra? So, you know, I, this must be your person. <laughs> so what they are trying to flow towards, I'm not sure, but it has to do with an earthy element that says practical in nature. So that makes me strongly suspect home or work. Okay? But it's, it's for their good. They're saying it's for their good, that their heart's moving in this direction. And the chariot says outward movement or flow of that particular thought or motivation. So in other words... Libra, can we move in this direction? It would mean a lot to me. So it's some sort of proposal to shape the relationship further, to literally move it in a particular direction, but in a way that's realistic. It's coming from the heart. It is. It's coming from the heart. It's not mean. It's not obtrusive. It's not malicious. Um, but it is an honest request to flow in a particular direction, and they want your support. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know. I just know it's not you. <laughs> so it does. It looks it looks very supportive. It looks very steady. It looks stable, steady hand, that kind of thing. Um, I could trust an energy like that. I don't, you know, it depends on what they're proposing. You may not be in agreement with it, but how they're approaching it is respectable. Okay? That's the question you got to answer. Is that what you want to do? So it makes me wonder about this segment then, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the High Priestess. But... I famously sometimes, for myself, can put the cart before the horse because my mind tends to jump in 20 different directions. <laughs> so, in other words, my point is, is that this may or may not be related to that particular question. Let's take a look. Let's see that Three of Pentacles, please. Show me that Three of Pentacles. Show me that Three of Pentacles. What is this cooperation, please? What is this cooperation? Show me this Three of Pentacles, please. Collaboration, cooperation, acquaintanceship, friendship, work with me, bare minimum. You know, let's get on the same team, same goals, same plan. We're working from the same blueprint, that kind of thing. Let's see that Three of Pentacles, please. Show me that Three of Pentacles. 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 Five of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Whatever this... There, there's something here that's not sticking to your energy as being functional. It's like this is not functional. This is where I see you kind of drop your sense of uh, support. You're just like, I understand there's a proposed flow here, and it is beautiful. However, it's kind of sticking as anti-growth. Okay. You see this as, as not being productive, whatever this is. It's You don't know if you can get on board and cooperate with the proposal. You're saying this is anti-comfort zone. Um, 
it's just going to result in stagnation. Otherwise, otherwise you're saying it's, it's like no point. It's like, thank you very much. I understand you want me to cooperate. I understand you want my stamp of approval. It just, from my eyes, you're saying this looks like it's anti-growth. It's going to be more fuss than it's worth, and it has nowhere to go. At best, this could be a friendly sort of approval, you know, friendship at best, or I don't expect all the support from me. Just don't, because it's, you're saying whatever this is, is anti-self-worth. The Three of Pentacles is being, which is such a, a simple thing, Five of Wands, combativeness, arguing. So here, when we're not on the same page, there is no growth. You're saying whatever this is you're proposing, we can't get on the same page about it, and it's just going to accumulate to a bunch of sound and fury that goes absolutely nowhere and has nowhere to go or express itself or benefit either one of us. And you're saying that as someone who is experienced with the Queen of Pentacles. You're saying, I know that if you and I cooperate on anything, there should be growth on the other side of it. And you're saying whatever this is, is already defeating itself in that way. There's just no way. This has nowhere to grow. It has nowhere to go. Why would I sign up to that? It, you're saying it's lack of security here. There's no stability in it. And, it's, and you can have a wild investment that unexpectedly grows. Okay. But the agreement behind it is that you would try. And you're saying, I can't even agree to try this because just from somebody who has experience with this or with you, there's nowhere to grow or the situation. It's anti-stability. There will be no fruit on that vine. We'll just spend all our time arguing about how this is supposed to grow and we're not going to get on the same page and we both know it. So you're already saying it would be self-defeating to try. Okay. Very important point here. Very important point. So it's funny how you change frequencies. Did you see how you did that? Between I'm open, you know. So this is beautiful and you it's worth your support. The communication, the expression of love. Let me help you through this. Uh, I'm here, I'm showing up. I'm giving some really good portions of myself to this relationship. Okay. And then there's the proposal here of some sort of expansion or moving it forward from the King of Pentacles. And that's when you went, I'm going to match your frequency on this. You're showing me King of Pentacles and I'm showing you Queen of Pentacles as well. You have this particular flow you're proposing, but I can tell you as also a Queen of Pentacles that I can, you should be able to appreciate this too, that there will be no growth here and we both know it. So you, you switch your frequency to match them, I think, to get them to understand the point. It's interesting how you did that. So that tells me you know this person really well. <laughs> okay, let's keep on keeping on. I am actually, you know what, I'm going to jump over here to the high priestess first. Let's start right there. Let's start right there. I want to see what your intuition is saying. And that four cups might speak for itself. Let's see that's uh let's see the high priestess, please. Some of the high priestess. Some of the high priestess, some of the high priestess, some of the high priestess. Some of that high priestess, please. What are you feeling here? Queen of Swords, the High Priestess for the High Priestess and Justice, you, you're directly all over this. You're really insisting from your, this is you, you, and you. <laughs> Literally, your power card, there you are as your, um, your queen or king form. And then the High Priestess, your intuition. So not only do you feel what you feel, you're saying, I know what I know. And I'm always going to choose the side of balance. Okay. Uh, you're saying I will always balance with me, myself, and I first against any decisions I make. So when you're saying you already know what's up, you actually really believe it because you feel it and you've mentally processed it. And you're saying, I know I'm correct on this one. Not only do you know it, you feel it. They're working together. And I say that all the time. Intelligence and intuition are not mutually exclusive. They should be side by side. You can intuitively feel something, but could be wrong intellectually. And intellectually, you could be convinced that two plus two is four. But intuitively, you may not be feeling that it's supposed to be. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You really need both. Okay, they work together beautifully. Uh, or they should. So you're saying, I know I'm right. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. And I'm going to balance against myself first. That's all I can do. That's what the tarot lady says. Listen to yourself first, right? Do what's right for you. And I'm telling you, I know what's up. I want to see that four cups after all. 
Because if, if you're showing me such strong conviction directly as it relates back to you, what's with the unhappiness then? Let's see that Four of Cups. Let's see that Four of Cups. Show me that Four of Cups. Show me that Four of Cups, please. Three cups flew out. Unhappy because it's not coming together. It's not coming together. Something here is not coming together. We're going to shuffle that again then. Something here is not coming together correctly. I want that three cups to get reincorporated into the deck. If it comes out again, it's because it's supposed to. Show me that four cups. Show me that four cups. Show me that four cups. The star, death, the king of swords. Aye, aye, aye. It's not your dream. Whatever the proposal here is, it's not your dream. It's anti-dream. And if the insistence here is that they move in this direction, you're saying it's going to tear the dream apart. It's, it's not what you want. So that's why you're standing by your conviction that I'm balancing against me and I'm telling you this is not going to work. It's interesting because how you're responding to it in the real world is very practical. You have, or you will, I should say, because it hasn't happened yet, you will express your displeasure and you will give very methodical reasons as to why A, B, and C, we should not be doing this. And you're very unhappy because you understand if they are determined with the King of Swords, okay, it can kill the dream. And your view of it. You're saying if they choose to pursue this and they don't see the practical side of it, it can make somebody, the both of you, very unhappy. It's kind of like, I hope you make the right choice because, you know, I know what I know and there's what you say you want. And I'm telling you, it's kind of like you're saying what you want is not correct, but you're trying to present it in a practical way. It's interesting. We started out with so much alignment and this is what's up, but the, for some reason you're pushing back on the support. We're saying, I cannot support this. It will not accumulate to anything. You don't seem to believe in this person's dream. It's not your dream, first of all, so do keep that in mind. Other people's dreams are other people's dreams. And while they may not make sense to you, clearly, that doesn't mean it doesn't make sense to them. So let's, let's be square with that. That's fair. Is that fair? Yes, it is fair. But if you are attached to this person's movements the way I think you are, you would have to voice your unapproval. And you're doing so in a practical way, but internally, you're like, if they insist upon this, it's a bad dream, and it's going to make us both unhappy. So while I appreciate you sticking to your guns, energetically, mentally, emotionally, otherwise, I, I, I would ask you, why are they insisting upon this? even though it seems to be costing this idea of unhappiness, if you uh, go along with it. Because you're saying they're adamant, but their, their sense of being adamant is what's going to kill this, or it's going to be unsuccessful, or an unhappy star, or a dead star. I want you to press that further, make this person articulate it to you in a way that you can understand, because they're... They keep pushing back on you, but this is important to me. And you're like, it is to you, but not to me. It's going to end in a disaster. You went from being very supportive, and I'm here to, look, I know what I know, and this is stupid. Okay? I want to know why they're insisting. Uh, and I respect that you switch modalities to kind of speak to them where they are. But you're like, if they keep pushing, they're going to be unhappy with that decision and they're going to drag me with it. Cool. But I want you to understand where it's coming from. Okay. All right. Let's see that hermit, please. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. I think you're doing all the right things. But I want you to understand their insistence. That will help you. Okay. I promise. It may not seem that way. And that doesn't mean you're agreeing. You're understanding to understand. You agreeing to understanding doesn't mean you're agreeing to the situation. Separate those two. All right? I don't want you to be accused of not listening or not caring. Okay? That's why. 
Let's see that hermit, please. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Because, you know, they could say, you're the one responsible for denying me my dream. You wouldn't get on board with it. See what I'm saying? There's two sides to everything. That's all. And if you are empowered the way I believe you are, you'll listen. That does not mean you consent. Let's see the hermit, please. Let's see that hermit. Nevertheless, you seem to be right there again as the Queen of Swords. I'm experienced, and I think we should carefully move in a particular direction. Let's see that hermit, please. Some of the hermits, some of the hermit. Page of Wands, the Emperor, the Moon. Mm -hmm. You are trying, in the smallest, excuse me, in the smallest of ways, to switch from the supporting empress to the empowered emperor and saying, okay, let's say we gently, and I mean gently, explore the unknown. Okay, so the moon here isn't mystery, it's not secrets. It's the willing to explore the unknown, but a little bit, please. It's almost like you're saying we need to look into this further, excuse me, further, <laughs> I'm tired. We need to look into this further. And pending that, okay, we can make our decisions accordingly. Knights of Pentacles. You're like, I just, I don't want to walk into a mystery, but I am willing to discover some unknowns to a degree. In other words, I think it's your way of saying, we'll think about it. I don't like walking into complete mysteries, but I don't, I shouldn't just rule them out either. I agree. So you are showing me compromise. Let's see that knife of pentacles. But you're like, slow. I ain't trying to rush into that. Okay. Show me that knife of pentacles. Show me that knife of pentacles. Okay. I ended up clarifying all of them. Kind of have to. I, w I want to know. <laughs> I want to know at this point what we're going to do. Let's see. The Ten of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Swords. Okay, we're starting to pick up pace a little bit. You're starting to feel better about this situation as you gain more clarity on it, making the unknown more known uh, about whatever the pathway here that's being proposed by this person who seems to have the chariot attached to them. Like I said, swiftness of direction, motivation, etc. You're like, okay, I'm starting to catch up to where you are. However, however, boundaries, Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups. If anything crosses that sense of fulfillment between you and I and anyone else that might be in our house, kids, whoever, whatever. If it crosses that in any way that's negative, we're not going to explore this further. But so long as we continue to gain slow, steady evidence that things are going in a particular direction that's healthy for everybody, I'll continue to look into this or we'll continue to move in this direction. So that's interesting, okay? You started out as a tentative player for the unknown, trying to understand their side a little more, to taking more steps, but with caution, boundaries, about direction and flow. Um, kind of constantly monitoring to make sure everybody's on the same page. Okay. Okay, let's see that Queen of Swords. Let's see that Queen of Swords. I'm sorry it's so vague, but I can't quite see what the proposal is. Other than it's important to your person. Okay. Let's see that Queen of Swords. Let's see that Queen of Swords. But if you're worried about emotional harmony, that's one thing. But you're telling me whatever this is suggests possibly lack of growth. But you are willing to look into it further. And kind of to understand their point of view. I want to make sure everything else is in order before we proceed in this direction any further. Something like that. I'm sorry it's so vague. Let's see that Queen of Swords, please. Now let's see what's on your mind further out in March. Five of Wands, the star, there it is. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Look, you made enough progress in whatever this is that you're still against it. So you're showing me a natural pathway of, I open to this, I'm trying to learn more about it. We even took some cautious steps in it. And I still can't get on board with your vision. You're saying you just can't. Okay, so you did give it a realistic shot. You really did. You monitored the situation. You did some insight. Uh, you tried to make the unknown a little more known to you so you can get more comfortable with it. And we started taking more steps here. Okay, the Knights of Pentacles, the Knights of Swords, and somewhere between that person still wanting to move forward in this and you experiencing a little bit, you can't see it. You just can't see it. You cannot see this person's vision because it's not yours. It's important to them. You know that. 
but it you seem to think it's going to be anti-goal comprehensively for not just them, but anyone else who's in this situation with you. Okay. So I, I, I see you. Here it is. Remember this? Back here at the Four Cups. Five of Wands, the star. Guess what comes up again? Five of Wands, the star. And this time we had the added layer of Ten of Wands. So now you're feeling the pressure. You're no longer in support Empress mode. You're kind of like, how do I get this person to understand that this dream is causing more frustration than it's worth? I'm going to point out to you again, it's not your dream. So there's a good chance that they don't see it that way. It was their proposal. And you're seeing it as chaotic and that it's more frustration than it's worth. And it's like, leave it be. This is stupid. It, the pay is crap. I don't even know if it's pay, but you see what I'm saying? The material 3D output. What we get from it is nothing. It causes a lot of tension between us. You're asking to take more steps in it. I'm trying to get you out of it. It's like, why are you doing this? You see how much frustration this is causing us. I went from being supportive and I got you to now you want to get further indebted to whatever this is. <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be helping either one of us in terms of realistic value. Where's the value for this star? You want to put more into it? Where's the proof that we should be doing that? So that's what you're showing me right there towards the end. Is that you, and you pulled your Queen of Swords out again, which was over here. And you kind of go back to, I told you, and I, I am saying that for you. You are saying, I told you. I know what I know and I feel what I feel. I know I was correct. I mean, this is absolute conviction that you're correct. Um, but you did try to keep an open mind towards this. You did. Because it's clearly imp uh, important to your person, but not to you. Because you kind of called it very early. We're going to spend more time fighting about this than it's worth. You're putting way too much time, energy, and effort, and for what? It doesn't make us any more secure. And you get back to that point again. So I don't know how you're going to deliver your kind of final thoughts on this. Uh, I see you being kind of harsh about it, actively rejecting that dream uh, and pursuing it any further. I do. Um, this thing about dreams that aren't yours, they're not yours to kill. Whatever it is, it's burning in that person to move further into it. I couldn't tell you why I'm not looking at them. I'm not doing their profile. I'm looking at yours. Uh, and like I said, reverse energy says you see fit. You're clearly in each other's lives in an everyday way. Um, you can honestly say you stepped foot in a particular direction with this person on this subject and that you really did try to give it a good crack. You did. But your results are still telling up the same way. So while you were right, how you're going to deliver that to your person in a way that suggests that you're still loving and supportive, that's up to you. Okay? But at this point, you can honestly say by March, towards the end of March specifically, you can legitimately say, I know what I know. And I, I'm correct on this one. With your delivery, I would just recommend that you be sensitive about it. Um, if you have the accumulated evidence, I believe you do. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay? Um, I don't want you to lose sight of your Empress self. Okay? There is a way of turning down things and reapproaching them and pushing back that suggests I'm doing this for us because I understand it's what's best and I love you and I just want to understand us pursuing this is nonsense. It's folly. But I, 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 I'm not stopping supporting you or loving you. In fact, it's because I love you and support you that I have to tell you the truth on this. It doesn't work. Okay? All right. You know, people's dreams aren't flaws, but that doesn't mean the dream isn't flawed. All right? Um, somebody's goal is somebody's goal, even if it's ludicrous to us, you know? If I did, if I didn't do, I should say, half the things I thought people would think I was foolish for, I wouldn't be here today. Sometimes you have to go your own way and understand what your star is. That's it. Um, but you're saying you have evidence in the real world to suggest it can't be supported and that you're, you're tired of having that argument. It should be evident by now, right? Let's see. Winter's dream, the gestation period. Yeah, this is one of those, let's think about it right about here. Gestation, let me digest. I mean, I know what I know, but still, 
let's explore it anyway. So you've had enough time to digest the issue, what it looks like, and to see it for what it is. Number 63. Um, like I said, you still seem to know what you know at the end there. Okay, heart, home, compassion. That's what I'm saying. I don't want you to lose sight of your Empress energy. I know this is frustrating and it's oh so obvious to you, but it's clearly not to them. Okay? So heart, home, compassion. Like I said, if you're expressing your disapproval or rejection of their idea, do so with compassion. It's still their dream, even if it is silly to you. Okay? It, it's, it's how you would want to be treated if you understood you were working diligently towards a star that's just not working. Eventually, you want to get a reality check from people who actually love and care about you. Treat it with... Oh, Treat it with that same sense of respect, right? The confidence in your magic. There's that truth. I know. I saw you have a very strong mind attached to you. And I th think you're often in that position of saying, I told you so. But guys, I told you so is a powerful word. And it can be very defeating who's ever on the other side of them. I know what it's like to have that kind of strength of conviction, but that doesn't mean I say I told you so at every given opportunity. That sucks. You don't want to be that person, right? So know what you know and know it with confidence, but deliver it with compassion, okay? All right. The legacy, I know. You're concerned with the legacy, the family tree. How does this benefit everybody, not just you? Is this going to take away from our roots, which is everything, guys? Community, family... Stability. Number five. Loyalty. You want to be loyal to this, but not give in to the fallacy of it. I know. I understand. I understand. 18. A, a community. There's a strong sense of we're deeply rooted here. Deeply rooted here. I think you're caught in a conflict between being loyal to whoever this is and being loyal to the community and the foundation and the home that you have built. One is going to have to take precedent, your dreams or everything we have built. Right? I can kind of see which way you're leaning and you're kind of leaning towards the greater good, not just you chasing your dream. Okay. So that's a hard conversation. We want some sensitivity in there, like we discussed. Libra, I'm looking at it. I think you got it. Not just the evidence which is ample, but a, a sense of, I, I care about you and love you, and I'm not trying to judge you or discredit you. But you have to see that between you pursuing this and our way of life, it's our way of life that's going to suffer. Okay, something like that. I hope this helped you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.